welcome back to the world's cagiest podcast in the world. That's right, it is Caging the Fez. Caging the Eddie. Fez. Caging the Fez. Today we are here with my buddy Jericho. You know Hello. him. You love him. He's the greatest. You just want to pinch his little cheeks. And we're joined by our good know-it-all friend, Zach. We will call him Z because we're respecting his pronouns. Hashtag 2018. Hello? Uh, I may sound like a male, but I am a Z. Z, that's right. That's right. We, we respect everyone here. We, yes. If, we do. That if you want to just be an Apache helicopter, go for it. Hey, if man, one, I'm just saying. Apache helicopters are in now, okay? I'm I'm pretty much, it's a good thing to identify as. You got, like, guns and stuff, and you can fly. If I'm anyone's hating say. on you for being an Apache helicopter, you can fly away and shoot them. Honestly. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, as long as they're not, like, pa- packing, like, missiles or anything, you're fine. No, if someone's identifying as, like, a missile launcher, then you might be screwed. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you <laughs> maybe have a losing dog in that fight. Yeah. yeah. So it just well, depends what they're identifying as. Yeah. No. It just depends, you know. Some, sometimes so, I feel like a, a, yeah. a penguin, you know, like a king penguin. A so king penguin? penguin? Nice, I'm nice. Fine. I once felt like an emperor penguin. Emperor Pe- Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We went to war with them. They oppressed us. Come on now. So insane. Listen, that was before my reign, okay? Uh, <laughs> sure, sure it was. Sheesh. I didn't agree with the actions of my father. Hey, 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 hey. We're lumping you all together anyways, okay? <laughs> all right, fine. We stereotype you guys anyway. Eh, yeah, sure. We stereotype <laughs> you. I stereotype me, sure. Man, we should make a great, we'd make a great, like, like pretend like crisis situation yeah, yeah. like yeah. someone bumps into us and we just freak out and turn it into bigger than it actually is dude i've done that before have you never done that before <laughs> i'll do it sometimes but we need to do it together did you want told... me because i'm white yo jericho did i ever tell you this story when i got called a nazi i don't think so no i never told you that no uh, i don't think so Oh, I'm one eighth German. You're gonna want to be careful here, lest I get offended. Listen, listen. Everyone knows Hitler. When he gave the order, he wanted cashews. Cashews. He yeah, he sneezed, so it came out as gas the Jews. I know. Yeah. Everyone gets so. Just, confused. just the miscommunication. Everyone needs to chill. I know. It's. Completely... It's not like it was seven million Jews. It was only six million. Chill. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. You know, six million. I would say it's like six million. That's a good number. Seven million, like fuck. Yeah, six million to an appropriate. I had a friend who genuinely thought that the Jews were extinct. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, why keep referring to them in past tense? Oh, they're they're like dinosaurs. They don't exist anymore. (laughs) We were like in social studies, and we were talking about the Holocaust and all that, and we were talking about how like. Modern day Jews are like a, still affected by it, and she's like, "Wait a second! I thought the Jews were extinct, and we just all <laughs> lost it." And she was so confused as to why we were laughing. Oh, that's so sad. Like that's something I legitimately feel sorry for. Oh, she man. also thought that Chicago was a state. Yeah. Okay. Now Chicago, I can see it's a state. Anyway, uh, Bradley, are, are you gonna tell us about how you got called a Nazi? Okay. So. Me and my girlfriend, we 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 sometimes go to this uh this coffee shop where we live, and it's called Mugs Wigs, and nice. and great coffee shop. Love their tea and everything. But occasionally they have they have open mic night. Oh, oh that sounds so good. Yeah, open mic. Can we take so, Steven? Um. <laughs> well, there's a guy that 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 lip syncs sometimes there so steven would fit right in yes <laughs> dude so, i want to go there it's actually a really fun time so okay so at open mic that you can you can you can play a song you can tell jokes you know skits or whatever well this guy decided to do a poem <laughs> oh and, and the kind of clientele you know hipster hipster coffee shop you know the kind of people you're gonna get mm-hmm. so this guy, full blown communist, like unabashed, <laughs> totally like, hey man, Stalin had it right. Go Mussolini, Karl Marx, what a guy, you know. <laughs> Those are my role models. Yeah, like, 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 total, like, hey, 
Comedy isn't the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> so he gets up and he starts giving this like really passionate speech of like it's like American capitalism is gonna bring down the world. You're impressing, blah blah blah. And midway through, he starts. He's turning. Yeah, he turns and he looks right at me, and I'm just looking there, you know, drinking my cup of tea and everything. I'm like, okay, da 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 da, sure, whatever, great buddy. And he stops and he looks at me. And he just goes, "We're gonna tear down your fascist regime." You piece. Yeah. And he starts swearing at me. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Dude, I'm just sitting here going to And he goes back on his tangent. And then at the very end, he looks at me again and goes, Hey man, I'm sorry, but you really look like a Nazi. No <laughs> what? I'm just like, thanks. No hard feelings. You should have just told just, him that you were Jewish and pretended to get super offended. Well, he's just like, he's just like out of nowhere. He's just like, brain, 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 brain. Goes back to his thing. Brain, brain, brain. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> So you, you have That's what you get for being white with blonde hair, honestly. I was just like, well, I had my... So, so you know that whole shtick of, like, when everyone's complaining about the, the, the new Nazi haircut? Yeah. Um, where you're, like, your head was shaved and everything? So my head was kind of shaved like that. It was kind of long on top. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to grow my hair out now. Yeah. But like... Never cut it again, honestly. Yeah, no, never. I did get it cut again, and now it looks almost the same way as it was. I'm like, ah, <laughs> crap. That's how you can tell if someone's a Nazi or not by their haircut. Bradley, you should just grow out your hair. I I grew back the Bill Ray Beaver for a little bit. So. That's, oh, that's that's amazing. Good. I used to have the the old Beaver cut. We all did. <laughs> the Bill Ray Beaver was the best. I would like Beaver flip in school all the time. I honestly felt so cool. So hot. So hot. I dressed so hot. like him too, honestly. I never went that far. I just had the haircut because I was. I didn't to... do it on purpose because at the time I didn't like Justin Bieber. It just was coincidence. Yeah. I I think that's kind of what new cool people do, anyways. It's like you subconsciously become like start doing what people like what cool people do and stuff like that. You subconsciously start to act like Justin Bieber. Yeah. Yeah, I I mean I have peed in a urine. I have peed in a mop bucket before, so Yeah. <laughs> I'll pee in sinks, honestly. Yeah. You I, have I, peed I, in the sinks. I had I don't know why people pee in sinks, but I guess you could do it, yes. <laughs> I pee <laughs> I mean you could. You could. I guess you could. I mean, maybe. I don't I never okay, the the one thing I never understood about about like like, fee- okay, so I clean bathrooms for a living, okay? Obviously. So, of course you have to clean, you know, the, the toilets and everything. And, like, there's these little boxes that have, like, paper things in them for, you know, for women's stuff. For Yeah. You know, women's stuff. And I have no idea why, but for some reason they think logically thinking... Oh, hey, so this thing where I got the bag from, that's also a trash can, too. Mm. Mm. And they just stuff them full of their stupid feminine products. And it's just like, that's not a bathroom. That's, that, this is a bathroom. Yes, it is. But this is not a trash can. Why are you throwing your crap back in where you got the bag from? Honestly, women are just menaces to society doesn't make any sense we gave them the right to vote what more could they want i know (laughs) i uh, i'm a dishwasher but apparently when the women's toilet is broken it's the dishwasher's job to go and do the plumbing oh god so i had to like fix the toilet and it was essentially me just like plunging it and like pulling out a bunch of stuff and kicking it and then flushing it again oh, and yeah? it was fine well i am the left chair leg of their favorite bar stool on the north side of your house and and, and, and for some reason i'm a mop too sheesh honestly i know it happened to us, it happened to us. i can't do everything no no wish you could though she could. Wish I could, because if I could do everything, I would not be working as a dishwasher. That's true. That's true. Dishwashers don't get the same respect as they used to. We don't get any respect. Honestly, at my restaurant, the dishwashers and the cooks are the only people who bust their butts, and we don't get no respect. No respect no. at all. No. Don't get any of them sweet, sweet tips either. Nope. Waitresses coming around, 
flashing their forty dollar tips in my face is while I'm sitting there cleaning off some little kid's spaghetti plate. What's with little kids and ordering spaghetti? <laughs> I don't know. Why are they ordering spaghetti anyways? You know. Also, just saying, just saying, if you really, really, really want to save money at a fancy restaurant, order off the kids menu. That's Honestly. that's true. Yeah, it's you, true. Get, you basically get the same amount of portion. You know. Okay. This makes me so mad. Our restaurant sells grilled cheese, so grilled people cheese. actually go out to eat and spend like ten dollars on a grilled cheese sandwich. That'd be a good grilled cheese sandwich. No, it's not even a good grilled cheese sandwich. We've had people order a grilled cheese sandwich, so that means they have to pay for this sandwich and pay like the shipping, <laughs> and the delivery the sh- cost. The shipping? <laughs> they have to have pay, to pay the sh- so, so they order a grilled cheese from your restaurant. They suddenly have to wait two weeks to get it from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They have to pay for shipping. Honestly, it would cost them less to just buy a loaf of bread and some cheese. What? I mean, is there anything else on the grilled cheese? Is there like, is there nope. like, like the salami or something like that? No, on there's it? one piece of cheese that they make on a grill. Nice. They just, it's just a piece of cheese, and they put it all together and cook it on a grill, <laughs> and. They charge you a million dollars for it, and people will actually you, order it. But if you think about it, you don't have to make the grilled cheese. So what no. you're losing, what you're losing in, 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 in money, you're making up for in time. You could be using that time to find an alternative source of fuel. I mean, let's be honest, I'm surprised Elon Musk has not tried to power the world on parts yet, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's think of what Einstein could have done if he had someone else to make his grilled cheese sandwiches for him. Oh, dude, he probably could have like, hey man, I know how to get to that black hole you're thinking about. Think yeah. of what Stephen Hawking could have done if he could walk. <laughs> actually, actually, we can't get too serious because it's Cajun the Feds. But if you think about it, uh, there's an auto, there's a documentary about Stephen Hawking in his earlier years. And, and, yeah. and one of the talking points is like, man, if you would have took if you would have took like school and science serious, the things he could have accomplished. Yeah. Oh, like literally, like literally, the man accomplished black hole theory and Hawking radiation from a wheelchair. <laughs> like seriously, I tripped down the stairs the other day. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Exactly. I stopped at a green light the other day. I pulled up to the green light and pressed on the brakes and sat there. Okay. <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah. 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 I, I, I mean, yeah, but seriously, though. It's like, man, the man could walk and did accomplish more by sitting than I ever have walking. That's, yeah. That just shows to go, yeah. Never walk. Just sit for the rest of your life. Be a lazy, just be a lazy schmuck like Stephen Hawking was, and you'll change the world. Well, okay, Stephen Hawking wasn't lazy. He was. <laughs> the he guy was never ran a day in his life. Yeah. He had an excuse to get out of gym class. That's what I want. I want an excuse <laughs> to get out of gym class. <laughs> I can't just fake cramps like girls can do. I have to be creative. That's so true. <laughs> that is so true. I've seen girls just leave school because they had cramps so they would just leave school and not come back for three days I know it's like what I wish it makes I me so it. upset you chose to be a girl deal with the consequences I, <laughs> I totally, no, totally gonna agree with that statement I'm not gonna question it challenge it or give any insight on it I'm gonna totally but that is so true I don't understand that whatsoever it's like it's like I, I hurt a little bit okay you can go to school. You can lay down everything. It's like... Okay, oh. if girls can use that, that means I can get out of school because I got friends owned by one of them. Oh, dude. Um, dude, emotional emotional pain should be... It should lasts be longer. Consi- exactly. Uh, I consi- just got rejected. I'm going to need a couple days off school. Yeah, I was going to say. It's like, hey, man, you just got friends zone super hard. Just, just let um, them off. How, I want people to do gym class. Man, today. Steven so hasn't been here for weeks. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I... I I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stephen Mann does not get friend zone. Stephen Mann gets removed from the area and put. <laughs> Stephen Mann gets restraining orders. Yeah. He gets rezoned, not friend. <laughs> see, see, there's friend zone, 
and then there's radioactive dead zones, and then there's Steven zones. <laughs> and then there's Steven. He gets we zone, not friend zoned. The many, the one of the one of two consistencies of in this podcast is Steven Man. Steven Man. Here's the thing. The viewers don't even know who Stephen Mann is. I know. We, we, well, the we, listeners, I guess. Go we go have... subscribe to Stephen's channel, uh, Steve Manson it's... Studios. And the, the name of... the name might change again in like a month. I don't know, but the videos of him playing video games are kind of stupid. Any video that shows his face is one worth watching. Yeah. Also, if he takes off his clothes too. Too. Oh yeah, those are the best ones. We're still trying to get him to take off his clothes and slide himself in peanut butter, so. <laughs> Ladies, he is single. He is single, yeah. And you It'll can find like... his number hidden around local Walmarts. <laughs> yeah. Not even <laughs> not even kidding either. We will warn you though, it is like cuddling a stick. So good luck. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. So oh. on to on to our weekly topic. I think it's about oh. time. What's Nick, What's Cage, Nick doing Cage doing today? What is Nick Cage doing today? Oh boy, Nick Cage doing. I wonder what he did for April Fool's Day. He probably what did he... About himself. There was a. Do you remember what the Netflix did with John Stamos? Yeah. The one time, and YouTube did the Snoop Dogg thing. Yeah. It was great. Honestly, I haven't seen Nicolas Cage in the news for a while. We talked about earlier how he's doing VR movies. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Of course it'd be him. I'm seeing a couple of things about Nick Cage wanting a Ghost Rider, or an R-rated Ghost Rider. Uh, I found Nick My Cage... My friend was, like, trying to describe her dad as, like, a biker, like a legitimate biker person. She's like, "What's that one movie with all the biker dudes?" I'm like, "He's a Ghost Rider." And she's like, "Yeah, that's it. He's exactly like Ghost Rider." <laughs> I said it as a joke, but she took it seriously. So I guess her dad is like Nicolas Cage. So I found an article where Nick Cage went shopping with his son, and he he has a beanie, a fashionable coat on. And and, and and the most baggy pants in the world. Swear he looks like a 55 year old hipster. Nicholas Cage does. Nice. Yeah, he looks like a 55 year old hipster. Where'd you find that? Uh, I found it, and hopefully I can share the picture. Hopefully I can. But yeah, he looks like a 55 year old hipster. It's rather impressive, actually. I mean, I don't know what 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 the like these millennials should be looking to Nick Cage for an example, like you know, I mean, instead of coming up with their go, weird. They already it's... go get their clothes at thrift shops. Yeah, so I mean, instead of their to... weird fashion, just follow Nicolas Cage's fashion. That's true. I've they're accidentally bell... followed Nicolas Cage's fashion. They're trying to make bell bottoms a thing again. Um, I'm not surprised. I don't understand that word. Okay, I found this article. It says soon everyone will be able to see Nicolas Cage get in a chainsaw fight. What? I'm looking into it now. That sounds amazing. Okay, in this movie called Mandy, which is like, I guess, a horror horror thriller movie, he gets into a chainsaw fight. I I mean, I would would heavily approve. I I would like to see him get into a chainsaw fight. I would, I would also like to see him get into a chainsaw fight. I wonder what a chainsaw fight is like. Is it like sword fighting with chainsaws? I mean, I imagine it's a lot more dangerous than that, but... But, like, that's their basic concept, is you're just sword fighting, but instead of swords, you have chainsaws? Well, I mean, I think the, the, the first initial problem you'd have is as soon as you, go, like, touch chains... Yeah, like everything they would would go all haywire. Yeah. So, really, you'd just be two people hitting each other with motorized sticks. Honestly. I'm not gonna lie, Nicolas Cage's fashion is pretty, pretty interesting. I, 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 I found can't. a, I found a picture of him walking down the street with his son with like this top hat and like, a cane. I, I have not found that picture. I'm I also to found one of Nicolas found. Cage. Okay, this might be my favorite Nicolas Cage picture. It's Nicolas Cage in like a purplish blue like suit jacket with a Nicolas Cage T-shirt on underneath and like cowboy pants and a hat I found Nicholas and Cage. sunglasses that just looks like Nick Cage on a Monday yeah I exactly a Nicholas Cage hoodie and it's like a huge blown up thing of his face 
has the hoodie, and it's forty-five dollars. Nice. You mean and, the best investment of your life? Honestly, it might be one hundred percent worth. And they have pants. You mean <laughs> Nicolas Cage on your crotch? Oh my goodness! That's Dude, all I've ever wanted. I mean, women will not be able to deny you. Just saying, you know. I, I think don't that, think so. I mean, I think that will be enough to even get Steven out of the, the Steven zone and then at least into the irradiated uh, wilderness yeah. mode zone. Oh yeah, I saw this shirt the other day, and it was like, it was like single and ready to get nervous around anyone I find attractive. <laughs> and I really want to get it for Steven. Nice. So, under subcategories for searches, under Nick, what is Nick Cage doing today? I have found, what is God doing today? What is uh, he doing? I, I don't know. What is he doing today? Besides everything. Yeah. He's crafting Nick Steven. Yeah. The crafting Nick Steven. <laughs> Oh, boy. I'm so surprised he's not famous yet. I know. He should be. He, he really should. We gotta do that thing where we take Steven in public and act like he's a big deal. Yeah. He is actually, a big deal. Actually, what we need to do is take him in public, act like he's, like, a super big deal, and throw money while we're doing it. <laughs> Just throw That's money at it. Steven? Yeah. You have to dress Steven up all fancy-like. Hey, I found I found the uh, flirting attempt article again from yeah, the first episode. Go. So, so moral of the story: Nick Cage is looking super dapper today, and everyone should dress like him because super. Stop giving me feminine products! I clean those. Don't make me look at them. Nicholas Cage. Uh, well, feminine products make me uncomfortable. Oh, go! Well, apparently, there's a sale at CVS, so you know. So, ladies, if you're looking for some feminine products on the cheap. Go to CVS. Yes, there you go. Or just, like, use a tissue. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's an image I did not want. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. These well, are all, well, like, older articles of Nicolas Cage. I was gonna say, There's I'm one about his, his pyramid that he's going to be buried in when he dies. He, like... Bought like castles from Scotland. Did he? This actually shipped over here. How do you ship a castle? I don't know, but Nicolas Cage is finding a way apparently. How do you ship a castle? I mean, he is Nicolas Cage, so. Do you do you literally just mail it brick by brick? I think that like that's how it's done is they take it apart and then put it back together again. That's the stupidest thing in the world. Honestly, if you really want to live in a castle that badly, just move to Scotland. Or just build one that's not already constructed. Yeah. Just just like, like a modern castle. Modern booby traps. Yeah, I was going to say, instead of like spike traps, you just have machine guns. You know? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's the dumbest. That's literally the dumbest thing in the world. Why would you ever buy a castle and then have it shipped to you? Like, I would seriously hate to be the UPS guy that has to literally piecemeal you a castle. All right, guys, <laughs> today we're getting put 7,000 of the castle. <laughs> oh, crap. Dave, we're missing 2x4, 8 from the drawbridge. Um, oh, yeah, I found it's in back order. So sorry about that. It's in the back. I'm sorry. Who piecemeals a castle? Like, seriously. You know? It's like, money it's like, would that cost? I'm just Especially saying, like, you have to take apart, like, a, this case, these castles are, like, 600, no, over 600 years old or whatever. Yeah. And they have to take it apart, and then they have to ship it, and then put it back together again. You have to find a spot to put a castle here in the U.S. Oh, no, no, no. no but it's Nicolas Cage, so it's no, worth no, it. No, 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 would be the worst thing in the world. You get done, and you go, ah, crap, we forgot a brick somewhere. Yeah, the whole thing just falls down. Yeah, you have to find a brick somewhere. Or even worse, you get done, you're like, oh, crap. This is the wrong castle. Wrong castle. Wrong castle. Crap, we forgot to put a door on it. (laughs) Drake and Josh. There we go. Where's the door hole? The door hole's got to be right here. You were supposed to cut it out. See, I put the line to cut it out. Really, that's actually not that hard of a problem to get out because that wall was not very well secured. So they probably could just probably could have just took the nails out of it and be like, oh. Yeah. But you know, comedic effect. We'll say that's probably one of the greatest episodes ever for me. 
it was. I found this one picture, and it was like that scene with Drake and Josh, but like outside of Jesus' tomb, and it's like Drake, yeah. Where's the Messiah? Oh, he's in there. <laughs> I told you to make sure he was dead. I will, jeez, man. Oh, really? Yeah. So go see if he's dead. All right. He's not there. Oh, really? And I lost it. <laughs> I saw it. There's a church nearby where we live. And it says, Jesus is dead. And then it goes, April Fools. I'm like, you think you're so clever. Then, don't you? <laughs> don't you? is empty and so is my wallet. Yeah. But, yeah. So Nick Cage isn't really doing much today. That's... No, I mean, oh, he's, 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 he's still single great. and failing at uh, picking up women, so. But, but VR movies may be a thing. He's so. still he's in the same boat as Steven, essentially. He is a Hollywood star? Does he? I get, yeah, he's got a Hollywood star. Yeah, he does. Huh, I never knew that. Huh, well, fair enough. Oh, yeah. We gotta you get can use Steven that to pick up girls. You can buy like Hollywood stars made by the same people. Okay, for, wait, like, wait, wait. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay. I have realized an injustice in humanity. What? Okay, so you know when everyone was like really mad when Trump got elected, so they built a wall around his star. Yeah. Literally, you guys had like forty years to do this. Why has no one built a cage around Nick Cage's star? Literally, that's gold right there. That's true. What that's... the heck? We wasted so much. That'd of be our so life. good. And yeah. I know Nicolas Cage would be fine with it. Oh yeah, he, he'd probably encourage it. He'd probably be like, <laughs> he'd probably give them the money to build the cage. Yeah, he probably. Well, actually, he doesn't have any money, so <laughs> that's true. Yeah, he'd probably be like, Ugh. he I'm spent it cage. all on the castle. Yeah. No, 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 no. The castle is cheap. Shipping. That's where they get you. Exactly. <laughs> that's where they get you is shipping the castle. I'm just saying. Literally, you can buy something that's like five bucks. It'll be like fifteen dollars in shipping. That's where they get you, man. And I'll, here's the thing. If I buy something for twenty dollars and it's five dollars in shipping, I won't do it. But I'll buy something for twenty-five dollars, no problem. Oh yeah. No, of course, of course. You know? Yeah. Because because you feel like you're getting your money's worth. As long as there's no shipping. Yeah, as long as there's no shipping, you know. You know, this is the true thing. You know how Amazon's able to ship everything so quick and so fast? Yeah. They have an agreement with the U.S. Postal Service that says they can ship any item of any size of any weight for $2. Yeah, no, right? uh, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. So the only reason why Amazon's able to do stuff is because the U.S. Postal Service is like, hey, man, cut you a good deal. So, you know, as we're here paying 30 bucks in shipping, they're like, hey, I'm going to ship this element to a guy in Nigeria. Two bucks. <laughs> so the castle only costs like $2 to ship. Yeah, if he does it through Amazon. If he does it through Amazon. So. I wonder if you looked up castle online, like how to buy a real castle. I'm really curious now, actually. <laughs> to buy yeah, I don't know if you want to look up castle for sale or how to how to buy a castle. There's how to buy a real monkey, which we can look up next. That's bananas. Okay, the first thing that popped up is castle for sale, prestige property group. So let's see what... Hmm. I found castle for rent. It's 11 million euros. Well, that's cheap. Are you kidding? Honestly, that's not that bad. I thought it'd be bigger. I was going to say. Million US dollars. And it's on the beach. Well, listen, the euro is down right now. So, you know, they're saying. Bitcoin. Honestly, aren't that yeah. expensive. Yeah. So apparently you can rent the Mansfield Castle. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Here's the thing. This says nothing about shipping the castle to you. I was going to say, that, that's a turnoff there. <laughs> Having to ship the You know how long it would take? I, I'd be too old to be able to explore the castle by the time it finally got here. I mean, I don't know how much rush shipping would be for a castle, but... Yeah, yeah there might be a holdup. Depending like, on how many Nick Cage bought, they might have to wait a little bit longer. That's that's true. They may be a strong backcourt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this Cage fellow already bought seven castles. I know. Buying one castle is still a lot of castles to buy. 
Appar- there is a there is a castle in Texas for sale. Nice. Uh, we could get one. It's got one star reviews. So Zach, why don't we just like bl- oh buy a Lord. castle and live no. in a castle instead of an apartment? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This castle in Texas, it looks like a cardboard cutout castle. Perfect. Like I'm not. I'm not even kidding. It looks like a cardboard cutout. Okay. Nice. I'm looking at castles in the U.S. for sale. Or we could just find a giant rock and live under that, like Patrick. You could live in some caves or something in the mountains. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, that that would be a very viable option. You can buy islands. It kind of... Is that the one that looks like a cutout? Yeah. It kind of does. Okay, no, I... Okay. How much is a castle on an island? cause for sale you gotta move the castle you gotta move the island castle on, uh, castle on an island for sale buys an island I'm kind of surprised Nick Cage hasn't bought an island he has he has Maybe. okay Nick Cage buys castle Nick Cage buys island so you can rent a castle in Ireland that's on an island for three million pounds. Huh. I think that's a steal. I think it's not that really bad, honestly. Yeah, I was gonna say that I mean that barely break my bank, you know. I don't understand rich people. That's all I'm gonna say. In over in Europe, Cage purchased not one but two castles for ten million and two point three million. Oof, that's gonna be a lot in shipping. Three million got him a deserted island in the Bahamas. <laughs> Spawned for a nine foot tall burial tomb. And even bought some shrunken pygmy heads. Hey man, that's where it's at, man. I nice you got some pet octopus. Nick Cage has a ton of random stuff. He does. He has the first Superman comic. Yeah. That's why I say I don't understand rich people. Like literally, if I was rich, if I if I won the lottery today, I probably would just buy like a house. Oh uh, yeah, I would invest in real estate. Yeah, I just buy a house, invest in real estate, put the rest in stocks and bonds, and just live off that for us. Exactly. Like, the like, money. Literally. Yeah. I would I'll not know what to do. Oh, it them. and are done with it by the year. Honestly, investing in real estate is such a smart idea because you can buy yourself a house and then you can, like, buy other apartments and properties and stuff and make money off of people living there. You'd be amazed how many people do that. Or you you could just, like, buy buy Nicolas Cage. I feel like you could buy an owl with Nicolas Cage. What you you, got to do, okay, is you got to hire Steven as, like, a personal servant. You could pay him a dollar an hour and he'd be fine with that. <laughs> Just give so, him, like, another Xbox or something. So I was looking for islands to set for sale, and then there was an article underneath it, and it said global warming is responsible for 9-11. <laughs> Obviously. I'm just like, I'm going to flip it up man. enough, and it melted those steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> with some jet fuel and the sun reflecting off the beams totally makes sense, you know? Makes, makes total sense now. Because we all know jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Yeah. And needs the help of the earth getting too hot. It's clearly. 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 We, we have solved so many issues. Oh, here's actually a really... So I found a castle in <laughs> Turkey that's in the middle of a swamp. And the island's not that big. So there's... You, you got options. Yeah. Saying, you, got, you got some you got options. options. You got some there's like a there's like a castle in Ohio. It's like an old like it's like a university now I think. Yeah. But it's like an old. It's not like a super old castle, but it's like kind of old. I know. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The creative adult is the child who survived. I don't get that. What? I just found this in some online like some guy's spray painting. The creative adult is the child who su- who survived, and he has a dog with him. Like he spray painted a dog. Banksy, is that you? <laughs> oh, 
Wow, there's some nice castles for sale. This is what happens when when, when, uh, when our views don't give us any topics. We just no, start looking for dude, castles. This, this one's got a moat. Nice. Oh, that'd be good. Make a moat for my castle. <laughs> I found a castle, and it's leaning really bad. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That's not even real. That's a fake castle. Oh, now I found American sword. Now swords may actually be in my my budget. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Like I can buy a sword. I've been trying to find a claymore forever, and I can't find a claymore. Like good claymores are hard to find in super. Expensive. I know. Like seriously, all I just want is a claymore. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yep. American weapons. Yep. Of course, the first thing to choose is assault weapon. We got battle shields, American coins. Coins are. This is why we don't have viewers, guys. This is why we don't have viewers. Oh, yeah, our, view, our views have dropped every episode. Say, so Our analytics were skyrocketing. I haven't actually checked those yet. Oh, boy. We're probably... Get that sweet, sweet YouTube revenue. That's all I'll say. Not because no one, no one screwed it up. Yeah. So, uh, I, I did get a IMDb page for Han and the Doctor Who series. Oh, good. I got them on there. I pretty Not much had to fill out this form proving that they existed or that they were being made. So I was like, I wait a second, Doctor it. Who's on the IMBD thing? Yeah, Doctor Who generated is now. So are you saying we could literally make any sort of film? Yeah, pretty much. And, and, and it could be on IMDb. Okay. Wait a second. Yeah, if you have enough proof that it's like being made or exists. So, Secret Agent Movie 2. Exactly. <laughs> we gotta make a movie with Steven to put on there. Just like, just... Oh, I need to put Lance and Derek on there. Because that's actually an original series. There you go. What? Who names their main character Lance? It, it's, it's based off of a random guy that they met. And he was a, like a living meme. Yeah, I'm on IMBD. So we just named we just named uh, the characters Lance and Derek. Actually, actually, I can just tell you the story of Lance and Derek if you want to hear it. So I haven't talked about it. I I I'm kind of curious about Lance and Derek because I kind of want to know why you named your character Lance. Okay, so uh, Forrest and Basilio, the Fieros, they went um, they went on this like vacation to like Arizona and they were at the Grand Canyon and <clears throat> um their mom was like having trouble like they were do riding bikes and stuff and like she was having trouble breathing or something so they like went and found like a park ranger and like they told him where she was and he ran like a mile the wrong direction Oh. And then he like came back and he's like, I couldn't find her. And he's like panting and he's like out of breath. And they're like, uh, she went the, she's the other way. And I guess his name was Lance. And oh. he kept running the wrong direction. And apparently he had like long curly hair and was like a meme to did them. Did she die? Did no, the she's fine. She's, she's oh. fine. <laughs> Lance, Lance eventually about. got to her apparently. So. Oh. I don't know if he was able to help her, but somebody did. So he went. He went the wrong way so long. He eventually went the right way. I I think so. <laughs> so I, I I feel like this Lance fellow has more. Uh, I have more questions about this Lance fellow's credibility as being a park ranger than. <laughs> yeah, That's and then the same day that they were telling me about this Lance guy, uh, there was a there was like a cop show on that that their mom was watching and. A guy, like a cop, came up on on the TV, and his name, and like, it said his name was Derek, and he like had the mustache. And for some weird reason, Forrest and I have had this thing like since we were kids that we think me like middle-aged men with mustaches are funny. <laughs> like we we found it funny for some reason. <laughs> what is? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now now I'm just picturing you and, and, and you guys going to like a Hitler rally and just <laughs> laughing. 
so funny. It's like, we are the monster! <laughs> monster! That's pretty much what our sense of humor was when we were younger. She's got a monster! So anyways, Derek and Lance, we put them together and we made an amazing show. Because we had like actually planned on making... It's been like... We've been plan. We had been planning it for at least like a year before we actually made it. Like we had been making, making jokes about it and stuff, and then we actually did it. How do you add images to IMDb? IMDb. You have to like. You have to like. I think you have to pay to like add like pictures of like the actors and stuff. What about the writers? I'm listed as a writer. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I can try to add one if you want to send me one. All right, sweet. All right, we guys, we got to find a great picture. We got to use the one from the sleep. <laughs> Wait, I think I have. I I need to add more cast members, but I yeah. Only had I only added a few at first. Cause... You added you and Marissa. Yeah, I need to add a few more. There's so many people. It's I gotta add Steven and Ron, obviously. Steven, Ron. <clears throat> Can I like? Well, 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 well. In, it, in its in its own right, this this I am. Yeah, when I experience. when I click to like add like a picture, it says start your thirty day free trial. Oh, nice. I think you have to like. Hey, Here's hey, the picture. I don't know. Cause like I tried to add a picture on mine and it did the same thing. I, I mean, I mean, I, I would not, I would not put it past them to charge you money. So. Ah. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they let you put the film on there for free, so. Oh yeah, but if you want it to be credible and look nice, then they're like, ha yeah, we got them. So oh yeah, I posted on my Snapchat story that I'm on IMBD and now a bunch of girls are hitting me up on Snapchat. So <laughs> Did you see Maybe Caleb? See Caleb was super excited about it and he was like posting uh, it everywhere. I'm about to post it on Twitter too. <laughs> I feel like I no offense, I think this is gonna alienate you more than you've realized, but well, I don't Steven, care. If Steven's on it too, so Oh, and they'll be swimming all over it. No, Steven. Yeah, we gotta tell girls that Steven are on, <laughs> Steven's on IMDb. Steven's. Now, 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 it, 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 is he on, like, the cover page or anything, or is he just listed? He's just listed. Oh, well, they're not gonna pay attention, because they'll be like, oh, no Steven. Oh, you know, you know these people's attention spans are like two minutes. Yeah, that's true. You gotta captivate him first. Bring him into the fold. Yeah, I'm also uh, supposed to be joining another podcast tomorrow. It's like, there's a Star Wars podcast. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, it's called Rebel Scum. It's actually pretty pretty cool. I've been listening to it recently. Anyways, I pretty much mes messaged him like, Hey, I'm making a Han Solo fan film. Uh, would you guys mind mentioning the Kickstarter on it? Because they, they, they have a couple they, thousand subscribers and stuff. I was going to say, are they actually credible? I mean, bigger than me, so... Oh, man. But yeah, they, they, they ended up inviting me on the show, so I'm supposed to record that, like, tomorrow night or something. You suck, man. Get your name out there. So that will... Stuff. Hopefully that will work and be fun. I was supposed to do it last week, and then I got sick, and then my yeah. voice went away. I think you just didn't want to talk to us. I think and their cool. internet went out, so it didn't work out. I'm yeah. telling everyone I'm on IMBD. Yeah, my mom told me she saw you at school and you claimed that I was faking, so... I, I mean, I, I, was going, I was very adamant on what I was saying, so... I'm adding you to the cast, too. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I'm excited. <laughs> I thought it was the coolest thing 
when you got on IMBD because I didn't know like you could just do that. I mean, you know, you just get on IMBD. It's not as long as you can prove the film exists, then it's not it's not that hard. I mean, technically, the the room has an IMDb, so. Oh yeah. Which yeah. one do you have? There's like a bunch of you like Doctor Who things. Is there? What do you mean? Yeah, it's all the exact same one, but it's like listed as like one for actor, one for director, one for producer, one for writer. Oh one for yeah. Actor. It like it does that for some reason. <laughs> they should all be like the same technically though. Like it it connect it like links them all to the same person. Yeah. At least it seems to. Um, yeah, uh, Bradley, I was gonna try and maybe get you to play one of the future villains in the series, but he won't be actually in it for a while, because... We're filming uh, Han. We're filming Han this summer, but you can still you can still come around and stuff. Not inviting me to things because you don't think I'm good enough. I think that's what you're saying. No, yeah, no. You're we want you much. around, Bradley. We sure. do. I how's, want you around. How's Colin's film doing? Oh, uh, go oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, think. Um, I don't think he's even started it. So oh, well, okay. obviously he hasn't started it. I don't okay. even know if he's written any. I, I honestly don't know, but he said he was gonna start filming it this year, so he's probably gonna wing it. So. Oh yeah, I, he wanted Steven to like be the companion, and like he was like trying to get one of my friends to be the companion. I'm like, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, he tries. Yeah. He tries well, no, no. He 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 just copies what we do. I'm freaking gonna use this to hit on girls he, all the he, time. He copies. <laughs> He copies. So. Yes, he's very good at that. But technically, copying is a serious form of flattery, so, you know. Eh, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure how flattered I am, so. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently there's other Steven Manns on uh, IMDb. <laughs> like, when I'm putting in the name, there's like 12 other Steven Manns that pop up. None of them have pictures. They have two ends? Uh, most of them, yeah. Oh. Is 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 is, is man, it actually I, is man an actual common name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like oh, that's I wondering. don't think it is, but maybe. I mean I feel like Stevens like I feel like man is now a really common name. Have we been dishing on like a really famous like household or something like that now? Well, Steven's going to be the famous household. Yeah. If, if it's not, it will be. Yeah. Once once I get famous, I'm I'm getting Steven famous. That's... The only reason well, to be I, famous is just to get Steven famous. Exactly. Well no, well, no, I think what I think will be is that because of being associated with Steven, you will become famous, so... Oh, yeah, that's that's probably true. Pretty that's, much. That's probably more true, it, actually. It's, it's, it's my association, you know. Alright. I'll be right back. I need to go use the porcelain throne. The porcelain throne? I clean those. Don't make a uh, mess. I have to clean them too. I know it's not fun. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can get some good stuff though, you know. Just saying. Found a quarter one time. <laughs> you found a qu in the ba cleaning the bathroom, you found a quarter. I didn't pick up that quarter, but I found a quarter, so. Yeah. I <laughs> You don't have to touch it, but... Yeah. But, hey, it was like, oh, cool. Found a quarter. Oh, I found a quarter here. Never mind. But, you know, there's there's morals to these stories that we have. Yeah. So, but more, more to the point. So then you're going to start filming the Han movie, and then after that, back to Doctor Who, I'm assuming then? Well, I'm doing two more Doctor Who, like episodes one one's a movie the other one's more of like an episode and then depending on if luke actually shows up this summer we might do like a multi-doctor episode like a short one all depends if he shows up yeah pretty much he's been trying to come for years and i i like i want him to come but i kind of doubt it because 
<laughs> it's never this happened probably, yet. Because he's probably catfishing you. <clears throat> yeah. I want a bathroom and a basketball and a top were in the sink. So. I, I mean, I, I think that's on my thing. family. I think that's the most normal thing you could have. Yeah. I, I, I mean, why not? <laughs> Uh, who else? I'm trying to add more people. I'm just trying to list everyone. I can't that believe Bush in the page. It'll take a few minutes before it'll load, like, cause I have to submit it and then it'll have to like, get like, they'll have to like check it and stuff. So it'll be uh, a little bit. Uh, I put Steven in there. He needs to be the first one. Did you get the well, picture? It does it, right it does it like alphabetical order. Yeah, I got it. Um, I don't know if it'll let me put it on, but... All right. If you ever do, like, set it up to put it on, that's going to be the picture. I'm famous. Okay. I'm so oh, excited. Oh, oh, maybe with the Han money, depending on how much I the get. Han and money. I don't know if you have to pay, like, a like a monthly subscription for them to keep the picture, or if you just have to and pay once. Be. Yeah. So... I guess we'll see what happens, but yeah, hopefully the the podcast tomorrow will help bring well, in some go. Star get, Wars get you, fans. Get your name, get your name out. And then and then we make John Star Wars and like make them all mad and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, hey man, you know what was a good movie? The Christmas special. Oh, that dude. was such a good movie. It was. It's the best Star Wars movie. It, it's an enjoyable film, you know? And it teaches good, whole, traditional American Wookiee values, you know? Yeah. It shows a different side to all the characters. <laughs> like Han has a really awkward way of being friendly. Yeah. And it works. I, I love you, Chewie. I didn't know that Princess Leia was so into singing. Yeah. Until that movie. I didn't know they had any other songs other than bum, but no, not that one. Bam, 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 The one. No, it's it's you're too high pitch. I was watching the Family Guy version of Star Wars, and they were in like Moss Esley Cantina, and the band's all like. Hey, does anyone want to have any requests? That same song again. Okay, let's do it. And they just keep playing that song over yeah. and over again. It's very entertaining. I I, I mean I, it's I mean Family Guy did it better than the Last Jedi, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. The 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 holiday special definitely did. Dang oh, it, phone. The special is the best one. Okay. And they <laughs> they don't even leave a message. They just call to interrupt our podcast and then don't it's say yikes. anything. It's yikes. It's terrible. It's probably Jeremy. Sure. Probably. We gotta get uh, Jeremy on a stream. We do. We do. But not to, not to force it or anything, but the I gotta get going. So gotta Alright. I mean, we've been going for an hour, so... Have it has been an hour? I feel like it's been an hour. Yeah, almost. It's usually about how long we go, 50 minutes or so. Yep. Yeah. So, thank you all for watching our our KG randomness. For well, listening yeah, to Thank you for, for joining. Yes, thank you for joining us today, Zach. <laughs> thank, thank, you, thank you for the YouTube AdSense. <laughs> yes, thank you for... Thanks, Logan Paul, for making it so I can't make money. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, stay KG, everyone. Yeah, hang around like Logan Paul did.